Hi, I'm Tim Wagner. Been writing for 30 years. Um, published 50 novels, about 150 separate short stories. Been teaching creative writing at the college level. Um, mostly I write horror and fantasy. and also do media tie-ins, stories set in worlds like uh, the TV show Supernatural or the movie Alien. So a lot of times I'm asked, what's the advice that I would give beginning writers? And I always say the same four things. First, what I tell writers is to begin with an immersive point of view. Um, a lot of people write the way that they watch movies as a passive observer, completely divorced from the action as things happen in front of them. And what you want to do is write as if you are one of the characters experiencing the events of a scene uh, with your thoughts and the feelings and emotions, all of these things. Uh, that's what makes fiction compelling. Otherwise, it's uh, it, it can't do what a movie does. You can't have all the music. You can't have the special effects. You can't have the colors. You can't have the sounds the way a movie does or a TV show does or a video game does. Immersive point of view is what gives a rich experience to readers. Uh, when you describe, this also comes from watching movies and TV, most writers just do um, sight and movement. Uh, because that's what they see. That's what's in front of you in, in visual medium. So don't forget to evoke senses other than sight and sound. Um, you know, smell, taste, and touch are pretty powerful too. Uh, another thing I tell you to do is write with an emotional core, meaning that whatever short story, novel, scene, whatever, there needs to be an emotional core to it, something that's important to your character. Um, you want to make sure that the character is deeply involved in what's happening. Uh, Back, to Future, uh, Back to the Future is a great example if you've seen that movie because it's not just about a time traveler. It's a time traveler who goes back into his parents' past, messes up his own uh, potential existence, and has to fix that. But he also connects to his family, his mom and dad, in a way that he just never has as a teenager with adult parents before. So that's an adventure story. It's a comedy, but it also has a strong emotional core. The very last thing I tell people is write the story only you can write. We have billions of writers. We have Shakespeare, we have Tolstoy, we have Stephen King, uh, we have Danielle Steele, we have a million. We don't have you. What is it that you are interested in and obsessed with? What is it that you notice? What, uh, what's important to you? What do you want to have to say? Um, we need you. And so write the stories only you can tell. So if you want to find out more about uh, my work or you want to read some more articles that I have on writing, they're posted on my website. It's just timwagoner.com and Wagoner is spelled W-A-G-G-O-N-E-R. Thanks so much and keep writing, everybody.